Or this guy saying, um, I'll read you this quote. He said, I'm two days short of four months alcohol free. Congratulations, mate. My question is, at what point do you walk past an offie, um, a corner shop or the Rose and Crown? An offie is a liquor store. Rose and Crown is a pub. Without thinking, just one won't hurt. I lost over uh, half a stone or a stone and a half. And uh, I sleep better and feel better in myself. But sometimes I miss having a beer or eight does this feeling stay with you for life? You know, th these are different things that you're talking about. You know, walking past an off license, walking past a um, a pub, going into a pub, all that kind of stuff. Or those feelings of um, one beer won't harm me, right? You know, these are different things that will affect you in different ways. I think with the, with the off license and beer store, think about it like uh, if you've got kids and when your kids are small you go into a supermarket and you walk down the aisle where you buy the nappies and the formula and all that kind of stuff and then when your kids grow up um you can walk down that aisle without thinking anything about it you know it's not it's not something but as soon as when you've got kids that is one of the first aisles that you'll go down if you're in the supermarket there's so many things in life that um the habit that you're in at the moment will trigger the behavior or the trigger the thoughts so it, that's one of the, the things that will go fairly quickly once you don't do it anymore. You know, if you walk past a, an off license once a month, it's going to take a lot longer to extinguish that than if you walk past, um, you know, once a day or twice a day. You know, eventually within a week, you're going to get used to doing it, you know. Same thing with bars. Uh, you've got no business in a bar really except for food if you're not drinking, especially, you know, if there's no food around and you're just there because you want to hang around with your mates. You know, that's not, it's not a good thing. Eventually that's going to kick you in the arse and bring you back. And with the thoughts of alcohol, I wouldn't worry about it. It's the thing about any habit is that it's, uh, it's just a choice that you, you make over and over again. And when you make that choice over and over again, your body considers it to be, um, a behavior that you're going to do again. It gives you, it's an option, but it's more of a D it becomes more of a default option. So when you stop, um, the the influence of that habit becomes less and less and less as you move forwards. And that's what you want. It's not that your brain won't deliver it up as an option. It will become less frequent. I still get it every so often. And it's just like, for me, it's a thought of where, where the fuck did that come from, you know? It's not that, like you're going you're gonna to take any notice of it and do anything about it. It's just that, you know, it becomes an option. Think about all the things that you think every day that you don't take action on, you know? You might see somebody that you fancy, but you don't take any action on it, right? You might see some uh, somebody that you don't like and you would like to smack them in the face and you don't take action on it. You might see something in a store and think, I can't afford that, but you don't take action and steal it, you know? There's consequences to a lot of stuff <laughs> that you don't do. Um, but think about all the different things that happen during your day that you just don't, you know, that you either delay the gratification of or you put off because it's not a good idea. That's exactly the same way here. You just have to give it time. How long depends on you as a person, depends on, you know, stop the flow, do the work, move on. It's part of that work that you have to do um, is extinguishing these old habits. So hope that helps. Take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards.